We are learning more about the case against a man who police say kidnapped, raped, and killed a seven-year-old girl in western Kentucky, just as he is set to face a judge this afternoon for the first time. Timothy Madden was arrested last week in the murder of Gabby Doolin. Her body was found behind Allen County Scottsville High School on November 14th. WKYT's Mike Byer is at our live desk now with the latest. We do want to warn you that some of these new details in the case are disturbing. Mike. Yes, this morning we received a copy of Timothy Madden's cite arrest citation. The man who was accused of killing seven year old Gabby Doolin. The documents provide new details that police say link him to Doolin's murder. State police still have not said what led them to Madden, only saying it was a part of the investigation. But troopers say they searched his property just hours after Doolin's body was found. According to the citation, while at Madden's home, state police took his DNA and collected his clothing that he wore at the football game. Biological evidence was also taken from Doolin during her autopsy. The citation says the KSP laboratory confirmed that the DNA from Madden is a positive match to the DNA recovered from Doolin's body. The autopsy revealed that Doolin was raped and that the seven-year-old died from being strangled and drowned. This after police say she vanished while she was cheering on her two brothers who were playing in a football game. A short time later, police found her body in a pond behind the school. Now Madden is charged with murder, rape, kidnapping and sodomy. The 38-year-old will face an Allen County judge later this afternoon for an arraignment. At the live desk, Mike Byer, WKYT.